Hey y'all, I just want to say thank you so, so much for subscribing to my channel. We have made over 300 subscribers up here and I really do appreciate the love and support, the like, the comments, all of that. I couldn't have done it without you guys. This video is going to be about perfumes to wear during the springtime that I feel will be good during the springtime. And yeah, if you want to see what selections I have, then keep watching. So first, we're going to start with Burberry Her Toilet. This is the newest version that they have out. And this one is really good. Um, I'm going to put the notes on the screen. It does have like a fresh pear floral type of scent. And it's really light. And it is a toilet. So it's not too sweet or too sticky. I think that this is perfect. Especially in the morning or something you just want to put on light. Um, this is great for running errands or simply just want to put something on light if you're hanging out with your friends i feel like this is really good and i feel like this is good for even the summertime as well so that's one of them that i think that is really good for springtime the next one is perfect by mark jacobs i love this one so much this is more like jolly ranchers floral kind of sweet scent but it does have like a fresh scent to it as well. For some reason, it smells like Jolly Ranchers and a little bit of watermelon. I don't know why, but I feel like this is really perfect because unlike the intense one, this is more for warmer weather and it's not too much on the nose as well. Perfect for um, cool spring mornings or even the afternoon too. I feel like this is really good to wear during the springtime. I'll say with the longevity, it should be about maybe four to five hours. So it's not the greatest, but I feel like this one is good. And I feel like a lot of people, even if they don't like Marc Jacobs perfumes, they like this one at least. So one perfume that I personally feel that is underrated is Flower Bomb Dew. I feel like this is really pretty. Um, this is a little bit heavier florals. However, it's not too heavy. It almost smells a slightly powdery and really soft. It kind of reminds me of the original Flower Bomb, but more softer and prettier and more feminine. And it doesn't have that, what is that, uh, the spicy um, note in there or something that's in Flower Bomb that a lot of people don't like. But I personally like it. It doesn't have a spicy feel at all. It's really more of a soft, feminine, fluffy type of version of Flower Bomb and not so floral as well and the longevity is awesome i think i got six to seven hours from this as well so this one is good i would say give this one a try if you don't like any of the flower bombs just try it and see because i feel like it's slightly different from the rest of them and it's not as spicy or as intense as the other uh, flankers from victor and rolf Next one is Versace Yellow Diamond. This is so good. I feel like this is underrated as well. Um, this has more of a zesty, fruity floral scent, but it's very fresh. I like this one a lot. Um, I feel like if you overspray with this one, you can kind of get a headache. At least with me, I can get a headache. Um, I feel like this is perfect for even the summertime because it's just not too warm or too floral but it's more of like a fresh slightly aquatic zesty smell very pretty um i like this more than the original one what is it called bright crystal or something like that the pink one i don't really like that one too much it smells like armpit i don't know something about the pink one it's like it's okay i'm gonna use it because i bought it but i like this one more so this one is more on the newer side and it is brown girl jane casablanca i love this one i talked about this one on tiktok and instagram it's like floral and mush marsh 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 <laughs> it's like floral and marshmallowy is that even a word i'll say flora and marshmallow vibes and it's really soft and to me this smells like you're giving someone a hug that you haven't seen in a long time or someone that you really care about and they smell good and you kind of just hold them 
and you rock side to side like a best friend or something like that and it's like oh she smells good or maybe he smells good and yeah this is it this can be i wouldn't say a dupe for killian's princess but i would say that it's close enough and that the vibes are the same so not an exact dupe because killian princess is more of the green tea type of smell in marshmallow but this one is more lighter and a little bit more floral longevity is not too bad it's about five hours before i can't really smell it anymore however this perfume is really affordable so i'm not mad at it but um i just wish that they made bigger sizes because this is i think a one ounce i believe so yeah you can't really do too much spraying with it because it's gonna be out girl but yeah i like this one a lot and i feel like this is perfect for the spring weather so now we're going to talk about flower bomb ruby orchid um I feel like I talked about this one a lot in my videos. Um, this one I feel like is perfect because it's more like a red Jolly Rancher um, fruity type of smell. To me at least. And it has that ruby orchid smell. How it looks is how you think it would smell. And it's not that spicy note that they have in there it's there because it kind of reminds me of flower bomb nectar but it's not like overbearing if that makes sense and i feel like this is perfect for whenever you want something a little juicy fruity but like with some umph in it if that makes sense so this one is coach flora or floral i believe and i don't see a lot of people talk about this a lot but this is really pretty it almost reminds me of pink lemonade type of smell i like this one a lot um i feel like this is perfect and i need to start using this more yeah i really need to start using this more because i haven't used this a lot but i feel like it'd be perfect um i don't remember the longevity because it's been a long time since i've worn this one but i feel like it's super pretty and I feel like it doesn't get the recognition that it does deserve, even for me. If you don't like this one, then I feel like you might like this one then. Because this one has that little bit, that flower bomb DNA. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But this is almost like flower bomb, but without the DNA. I'm not saying it's a dupe. I'm just saying like the vibes are similar. We're going to talk about exalté by fumi monet now i've already made a review about this on my channel so if you don't know then i would suggest you would check that out and i feel like this one is really good for now and i feel like it could be good for summertime this gives off a white floral pink pepper zesty um vanilla vibes it has that lemon in here like fresh lemon but it smells like a real lemon. It doesn't smell synthetic. Um, the longevity is perfect. Like this lasts from the time I get up to go to work to the time I get home. Now it starts to get skin scent on my uh, skin like around maybe six and a half, seven hours. But on my clothes it lasts. And with this perfume you just get whiffs of it as you're moving through the day. So it may disappear for a little bit, but as you're moving, you're like, oh, I smell it again. And other people will smell you too because I've gotten compliments on this one. It's very light and pretty, and you can overspray this without getting a headache. Like, you can do 10 to 15 sprays, and you'll be okay. Um, I'm thinking about getting another bottle because I kind of put a dent in it, and I need to relax. But this one is super pretty, and I feel like this is really perfect for warm weather. Um probably in cold weather too but something about this one is just beautiful she did her thing with this one so a perfume that i have that a lot of people be giving flack on but i personally like it it is daisy by mark jacobs i love this one so much i don't care i don't care i don't care i love it i love it i love it this is more like a heavy floral I feel like it's vanilla and a whole bunch of flowers, but I don't know exactly what notes they have in here. But I feel like this smells really good. Um, I like this one better than Oh So Fresh. 
Oh So Fresh is not bad, but I feel like this one has more depth to it. And this is more like if you want to smell like flowers, basically. <laughs> this is flowers, feminine type of perfume. So if you don't like that, then you're probably not going to like this. But I feel like this is good for everyday weather. Whether you're um, going out and about, whether you want to go on a brunch date, I feel like this is really safe. Even like office safe. I feel like it's just a safe perfume. And I feel like everyone should have a safe perfume because you don't always want heavy hitters or you don't always want just flowers or just stuff that's too light. This is just enough to recognize you, but it's not like overbearing. The longevity on this is about... I'd say about maybe seven hours, which is not bad because I think this is a toilet. Yeah, this is a toilet, and this lasts for about seven hours, and it's Marc Jacobs. And y'all know how like Marc Jacobs perfume doesn't last really long, so this is good. So I have another perfume that a lot of people don't like, and it's Gucci Bloom. I love Gucci Bloom. I don't care what everyone thinks. I don't care what y'all say. Gucci Bloom is beautiful. I'm wearing that today. Let me respray this. It's just the tuberose in here is just if you're a tuberose lover, you most like <sighs> if you're a tuberose lover, you will love Gucci Bloom. Like this is tuberose floral. It smells like it has a hint of vanilla in here, but it's just it's so feminine and beautiful. This reminds me of just a girl who loves to wear pink, who loves flowers who loves going to uh, sip tea in these pretty teacups. And she has her fluffy little dog. Like, it's pretty. And a lot of people say it's grandma vibes. I don't get grandma. Okay. I could kind of see why y'all say grandma because it's a little powdery. But it's to me, it's not grandma. This is more like cute auntie with a lot of money. I love Gucci Bloom. I have the oil, I have the lotion, and I have the rollerball. Like, I just love it. I feel like this is so pretty. So, yeah, if you love to smell like a bouquet of flowers or you like tuberose, get this one. Another new one that I have is called Bron Goddess Nui. This is completely new. And I haven't really worn this out. I think I'm worn it one time. However, when I first bought this, and I smelled that. I'm like, it kind of smells like cologne. But now, because when I bought this, it was cold. I think it was like maybe December or something like that. But as I'm bringing it out, I'm starting to like it. I guess maybe because of the warm weather. Certain perfumes smell better in certain weather conditions. It has like this cologne, coconut, sunscreen smell. Almost like the original, but I feel like this is deeper than the original. The original is more like sweet, where this one is more like not as sweet. Yeah, this is more like almost aquatic, kind of cologne um, coconut vibes, which is not bad. And I feel like I'm starting to like this. I still feel like I'm starting to warm up to this. So I feel like this is really good for this ring as well. So the last one is valentino donna coral this is the new valentino and baby this been getting a lot of flag but this is so pretty this is like aquatic fruity floral vibes this smells like watermelon kiwi pineapple lemonade type of scent to me with a little bit of aquatic notes um i feel like this is beautiful and i feel like this is really good for the spring and summertime is it better than the original i don't think so but i feel like this is good and i feel like a lot of people were expecting it to be the original and to me i don't pick up the original with this one i feel like this is good for like during the day um vacation type of perfume and i feel like the other one the original is more like going out at night or i feel like the original is more like nighttime and this is more like daytime i like this one a lot i feel like the original is better i don't think valentino could even top that 
and I feel like this one is really good. I like this one a lot and I feel like it's perfect for as the weather is starting to get warmer. So thank you for watching my video. Please comment whether there are certain fragrances that you like to wear during the springtime. Let me know if we have some similarities. Um, you can please follow me on Instagram as well because I post more up there. And yeah, I feel like I want to do a giveaway on Instagram if I get like a thousand followers. So we'll see. We got to see how things go. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Have a good day.